All right, so this time we're finding the square root of a complex number in Cartesian form. There are a lot of different ways that people do this. Uh, your textbook does it one way. Uh, that way feels a little bit like magic to me, so I'm going to show you a different way to do this. Um, if we know that the square root of uh, 3 plus 4i is going to give us a complex number, we can say that the complex number is going to be x plus y i. We just don't know what x is and we don't know y is yet. Now, if I square both sides, I'm going to get 3 plus 4i and I'm going to get x plus y i squared. Now, when I do that, if I square this, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xyi plus yi all squared. That's going to be y squared and i squared. So that's actually going to be negative, negative y squared because the i squared is going to give me negative 1. That expansion never changes. We get to this point if we're ever doing one of these questions, we get to this point straight away. Now, that means that uh, 3 plus 4i, x squared is a real number, y squared is a real number, so the 3 is x squared minus y squared, and the 4i is 2xy uh, i. So, looking at this, we can now say that 3 is going to be equal to x squared minus y squared. And we can say that 4 is going to be equal to 2xy. This allows us to set up some uh, simultaneous equations. Because we don't know x, we don't know y. But we have two equations, uh, two relationships that can describe it. I have 3 equals x squared minus y squared. And I have 4 equals 2xy. Now I can sub one of those equations into the other. It's going to be easier to sub this equation into this equation. So I can say that y equals 4 on 2x, uh, which is just going to become y equals 2 on x. So I have an equation 1, 3 equals x squared minus y squared, and I have an equation 2, uh, y equals 2 on x. I'm going to sub equation 2 into equation 1. So now I'm going to get 3 equals x squared um, minus 2 on x, all squared. Now that's going to be 3 equals x squared minus 4 on x squared, just expanding those brackets. That looks pretty ugly because you've got an x squared minus 4 on x squared. But if I multiply the whole equation by x squared, I'm going to get 3x squared equals x to the 4 minus 4. And I can rearrange that to be 0 equals x to the 4 uh, minus 3x squared minus 4. Now what I'm doing is solving a quartic. And you already know how to solve a quartic. You've solved a quartic before by letting x squared equal u. So I can let that equal u, u squared minus 3u minus 4. Now you can uh, solve that in a number of ways, quadratic formula, completing the square, factorizing. I'll just factorize it because it's nice and neat. That means that it's going to be u, um, let me think about this for a minute, it's going to be u minus 4, and it's going to be u plus 1. If I expand that, I'll get u squared minus 3u minus 4. All right, so from here it becomes clear uh, that u equals 4 or u equals negative 1. But we didn't want to know u, we wanted to know x squared, so we can say that x squared equals uh, 4 or x squared equals negative 1. Now x and y were real numbers and here if I start taking the square root of negative 1 it's going to give me an imaginary number so I can disregard that because I don't want x to be an imaginary number it's supposed to be a real number so that means that this is the only solution that's going to work so x is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 
2. So I've got an x value here, plus or minus 2. And finally, I can take x plus or minus 2, sub it back into one of my equations, I don't care which one, and I should get my answer. This one looks like it's going to be an easier one to sub things into. So uh, subbing in to 2, we're going to say that y equals 2 on negative 2, or y equals 2 on positive 2. That means that y is going to be equal to negative 1, or y is going to be equal to uh, 1. That's if it's negative 2, that's if it's positive 2. So I've got uh, two pairs of answers. I've got uh, x, x is equal to um, negative 2, y is equal to negative 1, that's one pair of answers, and the other pair, pair of answers is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Alright, so now we just need to go back to our question, find the square root of 3 plus 4i in Cartesian form. We said that the square root of 3 plus 4i in Cartesian form was going to be x plus yi, therefore the square root of 3 plus 4i is equal to uh, negative 2 negative 2 minus 1i, so just negative 2 minus i, or positive 2 plus 1i. Alright, there's our two answers. Uh, this question, it feels maybe a little more convoluted than what you'll see in the textbook, uh, but I think it's a probably a uh, it's a more logical way to solve it.